Can you drive a car with rocks for wheels? We're driving on rocks. We're driving on rocks. If you've ever watched the Flintstones, you've probably seen their car that has stone wheels. I remember seeing it as a kid and wondering what it would be like to drive. Now I'm all grown up and do dumb things for a living. So I'm gonna spend the next 11 days figuring it out. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. That guy's gonna be pissed. Honestly, stone seems like a terrible choice for a wheel. It's heavy, brittle, and doesn't have any squish. So it's not going to be easy, but I'm determined to make this work. Rock tires. What the hell? You know, dude, how did you make that? I think the best way to approach this challenge is to break it down into three different wheel designs. I'm going to start with asphalt because it's really easy to work with. Then we'll kick things up a notch and use concrete. It's harder to work with, but it's also a lot more durable. Then finally, we'll use everything we've learned and make a complete four wheel set made of pure stone. Oh, that's so heavy. All right, for my first design, I'm going to use asphalt. Now, I couldn't remove my own, and my attempt to steal it from the street didn't work either. So I guess I'll just buy it from the store. Asphalt is just a bunch of tiny rocks held together by tar, so it should still count as a stone wheel, right? That's for the fan to decide. Yay! Either way, this should be a good starting material. It's pretty easy to work with, and because it's a little more flexible than just solid rock, it should be a lot less likely to crack. My plan is to use this extra rim and pack the asphalt around it. Luckily, I found the perfect mold for these tires. It's almost like they were made exactly for this purpose. The asphalt is a little too flexible, so I'm worried the wheel is just gonna fall apart. I feel like I'm Amish churning the butter. I'll make sure to compact it as best I can, and I'll pour in a large helping of my one true love, epoxy resin. That ought to hold. We need to take off the rubber. Ugh, look at this beaut. Let's see. Ooh. Oh no, it's already falling apart. Just so stuck on. We're taking you on a ride. Oh, I'm surfing. Oh, okay. oh. Working with asphalt sucks. Yeah, this is gonna work really well, I can already tell. Now the real problem is, how do we get this 100 pound tire onto the car? We're trying to get the jack height just right. So I can just kind of slide this on there without really lifting it up. How to throw out your back. Ah, so close. My thumb. This is what my hands look like after washing them with soap and water. So I'm gonna put on my driving gloves. Stop falling apart. Okay, I need to get in and drive right now. Okay, I'm gonna lower it. Our goal with this one is to fill in that pothole over there because it's falling apart so quickly. That dang old door. You gotta lift it up as you close it. There you go. All right, here we go. Now it's not the time to not start, Greg. I'm going into reverse. Come on. That wasn't good. All right, here we go. We're moving, we're moving. It sounds like we're about to not be moving. Am I on the rim? It immediately fell apart. It's just the rim. No! All that resin for nothing. Well, shoot. See, the resin did its job. Just not where we hoped it would. Oh, no. What has happened to my sweet baby? This is what remains of the asphalt tire. So even with all that compacting and epoxy resin, the asphalt still just falls apart. We need a lot more structure, something that'll hold itself together. You already know what the next idea is. That's right, concrete. I tried to get some out of the driveway, but that didn't really work. Now concrete is really strong, so it won't just fall apart on us, but it's also got its own issues. It's very brittle and tends to crack, so we'll definitely need to do something to help avoid that. To hold the concrete in place better, I wanna add some texture to the outside of the rim. So I'll have Alex weld some flaps onto it because I still don't know how to weld. Drop your coin purse. Only dimes. Then I'll buy some high strength concrete from my local dealer. I just need to make one small modification to allow me to pour the creed in. That's short for concrete if you're new around here. If you are new around here, congrats on finding the worst channel on YouTube. Anyways, the sidewall is quite difficult to get off because there's a steel cable running around the inside of it. Something tells me that will become quite a problem down the road. If you've ever mixed concrete by hand, you know how torturous this step was. If you haven't, you got soft hands, brother. You probably throw your grass clippings on the road and hog crankers like me pay the price. I'll also add this mesh I found at a local farm to reinforce the concrete and hold it together. We'll call it rewire. 
This will prevent the concrete from breaking, and if it does, it'll hold it together. Between the paddles to hold the concrete to the rim and the mesh to hold it all together, we just might have a functional wheel. I'm surprised how well the concrete rolls. I thought it was more oval, but I think it's fine. Holy poop. Gosh, dang. This has gotta be like at least 150 pounds. I work out, guys, okay? How do I get in there? We've got a lot to go there. Well, it took me all these tools and an hour and cost me my will to live, but finally cut that stupid metal wire and we can take it out now. All right. Oh, it's working like a charm. Ooh, look at that. Look at the texture on that thing. Oh, it's got a tire tread. One concrete wheel. Now, how much does that thing weigh? This weighs about 200 pounds, which is about half as heavy as your mom. Oh my goodness gracious. This is the hand crushing speed run. Oh, uh, okay. That was honestly easier than I thought it would be. Hey guys, Chris Fix here. And today we're putting concrete wheels on a car. Okay, here we go. Putting the weight on the concrete wheel. Slow and steady does it. All right. Here we go. All right, here we go. We're putting it in reverse. Uh, we're rolling. How's that looking? It's looking good. All right, neutral. All right, we're going into drive. That sound is hilarious. <laughs> Wee! We're rolling. This is just fine. Oh, the brakes are so bad. Let's just do a lap around this building. Tally ho. Ooh. Going up. I mean, that seems to work fine. I give it some gas. It would seem the wheel is not perfectly round. Business park tenants only. Ah, crap. We gotta leave. We gotta turn around. Uh, so far, I'm impressed. Uh, not a very smooth ride though. Just a normal car driving past this building. Nothing to see here. It just has a little bit of a wobble is all. Oh, you can see the tire tracks. Concrete on concrete, ooh. All right, here we go. Zero to 60 test. Uh, uh, uh. All right, I'm stopping. Just a normal car with a normal set of wheels on it. Oh. How's our wheel looking? It's doing fine. Look at that. I mean, it, it kind of rubs off on the road. I say we see what kind of damage we can do to this asphalt. You know, concrete versus asphalt, which one's more durable? Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Let's check out the damage. Wow. <laughs> it's got some nice little burn marks on it, but it looks like it's doing fine. I'm pretty confident it's not gonna blow up, so I'm gonna give it a lot of gas. It's shaking inside really bad. So we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. Foot on the brake, it's floored. I'm giving her gas. Oh dear, this is, this is sketchy. Oh no. Oh, no. Can we smooth it out? Oh. Okay, I think that's enough. Oh, it smells like fireworks, kind of. Oh no, we done dug a hole in the ground. What do you say, fire marshal age? Is that hot? Fire. How deep is that? Oh, that's hot. Ouch. That's like two and a half inches. Wow. Um, it's, it's kind of not even phased. Like there's no cracking anywhere. Not even along the part where I cut into it with the angle grinder. I'm highly impressed. Concrete is hanging on strong. We could probably drive 100 miles on this thing. Okay, that was epic. I'm starting to get my hopes up. 
I'll be honest, when I started this project, I thought it would be a total failure, but I knew it would have a catchy title and thumbnail so I could get you suckers to click anyways. But based on how well that concrete will perform, I'm actually pretty optimistic about the final test. That's right, it's time for the real deal. Solid stone. No tar holding it together, no metal to reinforce it, not even a rim to provide structure. Just good old fashioned mother nature. First I went down to Home Depot to get some stones. Not that kind, the rock kind. To my dismay, they didn't have any that were wheel shaped, but just like Michelangelo, I see the beauty that lies within these simple limestone sheets. Unlike Michelangelo, I have access to a 60,000 PSI water jet that can cut just about anything, so I won't be chiseling these wheels by hand. This should be pretty simple. No need to reinvent the wheel here. <laughs> Just need to water jet out the wheel shape and the lug nut holes, so we'll have Palmer do the catting because I only took one class in high school and I forgot how to do it. Oh, that's the I've, been, I've been struggling for like 20 minutes to draw a circle. <laughs> I did it the wrong size. Yeah, my chair. All right, all right. <laughs> it was six circles. That's too much for me to handle. <laughs> What a beaut. Look at this thing. So let's do that three more times. That's four more times for the audience that uses metric. Ooh. Standard day in the water jet shop. He's a pokey. If this doesn't fit, I'm deleting the channel. I could taste victory, but just when I was about to celebrate, the lug nut holes were too small, so after several colorful curse words directed at Palmer's essence, he's really fat by the way, and trying a sandpaper Dremel, I remembered I was at a ring making shop and their whole thing is cutting circles, so all I had to do was find the right size diamond hole saw. You just gotta basically slowly erode your way through, just like the water jet, really. The water jet uses garnet, which is like an eight on those scale. Diamond's obviously a 10. Maybe Garnet's a nine and I'm gonna get made fun of in the comments. But this goes through very quickly because the holes were just about right from the water jet. We're only removing just a little bit of material here. That still took multiple hours, but now we can test them. All right, oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it? There it is. Okay, let's see if this fits. Come on. Once you get that first one on, it's easy peasy. Uh, I think we're good to go. We just gotta change the front tires. All right, I'm gonna let it down. Let's see if it survives the weight of the car. Uh, uh. It's a little faster than I meant it to be. It survived, as far as I can tell. Oh, yeah, look at that thing. <laughs> There's like two inches of clearance here. Maybe we should have tried to find some bigger rocks, but it's working. Let's get the front wheels on. Third wheel going on. This is taking like three hours just to get them mounted. Okay, I was exaggerating, one hour. And this one's just missing a lug nut, so that's cool. Surely that won't have any negative consequences in the future. This one is still wobbly, and these are as tight as they go. Um, I think the rock is too thin. So hopefully that's not a problem. This is the thinnest one though, so if any of them break, it'll be this one. Let's see if it works. Carefully now. Easy does it. Oh dear, I'm scared. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, now we're jacking it from the other side and it's gonna have a ton of weight over here. This is bad. So here's our uh, special wheel. Very thin right here. Oh, that's cracking bad. I guess there's only one way to find out what'll happen. Oh, that's the last wheel. And my back hurts, and a lot of me hurts. All right, this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna release this, and we're gonna see if it survives. All four wheels being made of stone. Slowly, oh, up. Oh. oh, that sounds bad. That sounds really bad. Why is it like sliding outwards? You see that? Oh, uh, oh no. All right, it's standing on its own four wheels. So let's see if we can make it to the wine store down the street. Cause I need me some Josh. I'm engaging reverse. Ah! That doesn't sound good. Uh, uh. All right, I'm putting it in drive. Let's see if it works. 
We're driving on rocks. We're driving on rocks. Oh, oh dear. Oh, we're gonna scrape. How do we not scrape? The car is dying. Stop dying. Had to put her in neutral. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We lost a chunk. All right, let's see if we can make it to the store down the street. Uh, what if I give it a little gas? Ah, uh, 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 I'm scared, I'm scared. Whee! <laughs> There's people over there. <laughs> Get a shot of those dudes back there. Uh, we're driving on the road. It's really loud and a little scary. But we're driving on the road. I'm gonna floor it. I'm actually speeding up. Uh, 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 I'm too scared. I'm too scared. Oh no, this is a big bump. Oh, 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 oh. These people are like, what the? Rock tires. <laughs> yeah, all right. You know what time it is. Time to crank that, soldier boy. Ah, ah, what happened? <laughs> I was trying to do a donut and uh, that happened. <laughs> Let's try it again. I think the front wheel broke. Oh yeah. The, the, the wheel we thought was gonna break broke. How's it doing, Bentley? Ooh. We oh. might wanna stop, we stop. We gotta change that one out so we don't damage the road. All right. All right, well, we gotta salute our fallen soldier and replace him. All right, we're done with our pit stop. Slow and steady. All right, here we go again. Ooh. This is scary. I'm scared. I'm going fairly quick. Like, I don't know. I'm only going five miles an hour, but it feels fast. Burnout? Yeah. I don't think the brakes are good enough. All right, let's try. I'm nervous about this. I'm, my foot is floored on the brakes. Uh, I'm scared. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, that wasn't me. <laughs> that guy's gonna be pissed. I've accidentally dug a hole in the asphalt and I need to get away. Oh, we can just use the asphalt tires to fill it in. All right, we're fixing, fixing roads out here in our classic Utah way. 